Chapter 4 Emma sits cross-legged on the bare floor of her sparsely furnished apartment, gazing vacantly at the blank walls. All traces of her formerly glamorous lifestyle are gone. The stylish furniture sold off, designer clothes donated, electronics pawned just to pay this month's rent. Without the clutter of material excess, Emma feels exposed, like a hermit crab without its shell. For years, the trappings of influencer success formed her external armor, shielding the fragile self-esteem within. Now, stripped of followers and facades in this barren apartment, Emma is forced to reckon with the uncomfortable question, without the hype, who is she? The daylight fades outside as Emma remains unmoving on the cold floor, struggling to recognize herself. She built an identity and career around crafted online narratives, chasing the formula for viral fame. Emma the influencer could rally the adulation of thousands with a click. But Emma the woman now sits hollowed out, a shell discarded by fickle tides of public opinion. In the dim apartment, Emma's breath grows rapid and shallow. Her earlier breakdowns had been explosive, visceral responses to public shame. Now she experiences a new sensation, numbness creeping through her like an icy chill. Without friends or purpose, still haunted by the jeering words of those who reveled in her undoing, the bleak future seems to close in on her. Emma curls into a ball on the bare floor, wishing to disappear within herself. Utterly depleted and untethered from the only world she understood, one thought repeats like a dirge through her mind. If her worth is measured only by the flickering numbers on a screen, then she is well and truly worthless now. The night passes in fitful hours as Emma's mind spirals with each small sound. Guilt, anger, and profound sadness churn inside her. She watches the shifting moon shadows traverse the sparse room, keeping tempo with her racing thoughts. As the first light of dawn creeps into the apartment, Emma feels the spiraling cease, leaving only bleak clarity in its wake. A simple but devastating realization crystallizes. She has no idea who she is without her online persona. Years of cultivating her influencer image left no room for introspection. Emma's identity had fused entirely with the Emma her followers adored. Bubbly, glamorous, larger than life. Every post was a carefully curated snapshot of hashtag goals. Her public meltdowns may have cracked that facade, but beneath lay only creative emptiness. Now, stripped of followers and facades, Emma feels utterly lost. She latches onto external sources of approval like life preservers, unable to look within and confront the vast unknown swirling inside her. The light strengthens outside as the new day begins, but Emma remains sunk in darkness. She gave her best years chasing an illusion of fulfillment, and now without the persona too. Hide behind, she fears learning the truth of who she is and why that image could never satisfy the gnawing void inside. The morning after her desperate night of introspection, Emma makes a choice that once seemed unthinkable. She picks up her phone and schedules an appointment with a therapist. Walking through the clinic's calming interior days later, Emma's nerves flare. Admitting her inner struggles feels more daunting than any public appearance. But she steals herself, determined to confront old fears. She will silence at last the constant chorus of self-doubt echoing through her mind. The therapy sessions prove challenging and emotionally draining at first. Emma picks at her nails as she haltingly opens up about the anxiety attacks and sense of worthlessness plaguing her. The therapist listens without judgment and encourages Emma to be vulnerable. Emma finds herself confessing how her facade shielded deep-seated insecurities. Seeking validation through likes and follows only provided temporary relief while obscuring her true self. She describes the turmoil of building an identity on such transient affirmation, each session excavates another layer of Emma's subconscious. She identifies core beliefs from childhood that warped into perfectionism and people-pleasing tendencies. The therapist helps Emma trace how early experiences influenced her motivations and cognitive patterns. While painful, the journey of self-examination also awakens in Emma a nascent sense of liberation. In stripping away old labels and expectations, she creates space for authentic growth. For the first time, Emma begins nurturing her inner life instead of critiquing flaws or seeking others' approval. Between therapy appointments, Emma presses on in her self-work. She explores interests and passions set aside for years in the all-consuming quest for influencer success. 
Slowly, Emma rediscovers simple joys forgotten in the relentless grind of content creation. She pulls out canvases and paints from her college days, losing herself in radiant color combinations. The tactile pleasure of brush on canvas becomes meditative. Emma finds comfort in creating solely for herself again, free from external pressures. She also returns to writing, a childhood passion suffocated under the weight of picturing. Perfect lives. Haltingly at first, then with growing candor, Emma journals about her downward spiral, the betrayals that magnified the hurt, and her first steps toward recovery. The introspection provides much-needed catharsis. On hikes in the neighboring hills, Emma finds solace in nature's tranquility. She pauses to admire the play of light and shadow on vivid wildflowers. Each step along the wooded trails feels like leaving behind old burdens. Slowly, the activities that spark motivation and contentment, rather than drained obligation, reveal Emma's true self. She discovers, in simple moments of intuitive joy, the roots of identity that social media's distortion had obscured for so long. Seeking a deeper grounding, Emma decides to visit her family and childhood hometown. As she travels back to rural North Carolina, nostalgia washes over her. But what began as wistful longing shifts to something more meaningful. Walking slowly along the main street, Emma feels the years seem to slip away. She pauses outside the flickering neon lights of the roller rink, breath catching at the memories, both sweet and painful. The tastes and scents of this place buried under the glare and clamor of city life emerge again. At a favorite childhood cafe, Emma smiles to herself seeing the kitschy decor unchanged. She runs her fingers over the worn wooden tabletops, picturing her younger self laughing here with friends before aspirations took her far away. In her old neighborhood, Emma stands gazing up at the two-story house that sheltered her youth. She inhales the faint honeysuckle scent, carried on the breeze that rustles the brittle fall leaves. Surprising herself, she walks up to the front door, peering in the window at a life now being lived by strangers. Though Emma left this town seeking fame and fortune, she feels its imprint on her even after all these years adrift. Within these sidewalk cracks and creaky porches, she planted the earliest seeds of self, before the world watered them with envy and judgment. Surrounded again by the humble constants of her upbringing, Emma rediscovers skeletons of self-knowledge submerged, but never fully erased. She begins piecing together a framework of identity from the remnants. Back in her hometown, Emma receives another letter, the first since her breakdown, and this time with a number. The lyrical words on the page spark an impulse. She sends a message to the number suggesting finally meeting the empathetic stranger who offered solace from afar during her darkest hours. Days later, Emma arrives at the appointed cafe. She smooths her dress self-consciously, heartbeat quickening. The quaint, aromatic interior calms her nerves slightly until she notices a figure waving from the corner. Emma weaves between tables, his face coming into focus. In the moment their eyes meet, something clicks into place like a missing puzzle piece. The man rises, familiar yet transformed, broader shoulders and faint smile lines, but the same chestnut hair and kind eyes that anchored Emma's turbulent youth. Alex? Emma whispers. He nods, looking equally overcome. It's been a long time coming, but I'm here now, he says gently. In a rush, memories of their childhood friendship flood Emma's mind. Endless summer days exploring neighborhoods and scribbling stories before ambition built barriers between them. Alex had been her refuge from chaos, a steadfast confidant who truly saw her, until she left him behind too. They embrace, years disappearing in the warmth and comfort of the other's arms. When they finally pull apart, both have tears shining in their eyes. Emma finds herself speechless before this friend from a distant, simpler past. Sitting across from Alex, words finally tumble out in a torrent. Emma shares her dizzying rise, the isolating fall, and slow recovery. Alex listens intently, interjecting occasional questions but never judgment. His calm presence steadies Emma's account of storms weathered alone. When she finishes, Alex nods slowly. I followed your path from a distance. Your struggles hurt me, but I didn't know how to help. He explains how he penned the anonymous letters, watching her suffering and hoping to provide some small solace. Emma's eyes widen in surprise, then brim with gratitude. Of course, it was Alex, the one who truly saw her soul even when she lost sight of it. 
As they catch up on the years missed, Emma is struck by Alex's steadfastness. While her world crumbled again and again, he quietly tended to the memories of who she was beneath the superficial titles. Now when she needs reality to cling to, Alex offers a lifeline to her truest self, buried but never destroyed. The hours fly as Emma and Alex slip into the natural rapport of their youth. The outside clamor fades away until nothing remains but their circle of warmth and familiarity. They speak of simpler times, school day adventures, ice cream runs after soccer games, walking home together as the fireflies emerged. The memories stitch their shared past into a cherished quilt. Patterns faded, but comfort intact. As dusk falls, their conversation turns to dreams. Alex shares how he hoped to be an author but settled for a stable office job. Maybe I just lacked conviction, he says, a flicker of regret in his eyes. It's never too late to create something meaningful, Emma responds gently. She knows now that purpose need not be spectacular or subscribe to others' standards. It only requires the courage to honor one's unique passions. In the flickering candlelight, Emma and Alex bear their souls. The years between them disappear. All that remains is a profound sense of being truly seen and understood. On the drive home that night, Emma reflects on the unexpected gift of reconnecting with Alex. She sees now that chasing online acclaim and allure could never satisfy her longing for human connection. Fame offered only fleeting fulfillment measured in metrics. Emma sought those external benchmarks to avoid confronting fears within. But Alex's steadfast loyalty required nothing performative from her, only sincerity. With sudden clarity, Emma understands the elusive element missing from her life all these years. Fulfillment arises not from applause, but from relationships that nurture one's true spirit. She knows challenges still await in this new chapter, but Alex's friendship roots her in something real, a love measured not in likes or links, but in true understanding. Emma breathes deeply, heart brimming with gratitude. The path unwinding ahead requires no glossy facade, just the courage to walk it with integrity. For the first time, contentment feels within reach. In the weeks after reconnecting with Alex, Emma feels emboldened to start anew. His steadfast support calms her old anxieties about how she will be perceived. She focuses instead on rebuilding her life with authenticity. Emma explores career options aligning with her revived passions. Though influencing provided a swift rise, she now seeks work driven by meaning, not metrics. She decides to launch a blog detailing her tumultuous influencer journey. Emma hopes her story of disillusionment and personal growth Will help others trapped behind hollow personas. Her writing celebrates the power of removing distorted filters to clarify one's true vision. With Alex's encouragement, Emma also pursues interests that fulfill her independently of any audience or acclaim. She finds joy again in painting, yoga, and singing off-key while cooking, just because it makes her smile. Emma stops evaluating her worth by external cues, listening instead to her inner compass pointing steadfastly towards growth. Settling into her modest new apartment, Emma decorates with items holding personal significance. Photo albums, colorful artwork from young students she volunteers with, scented candles, objects reflecting quiet joys. Gone are the days of curating some aspirational, perfect space for envy dressed as inspiration. Emma finds fulfillment now in life's simple treasures. Morning pages are written in her sunlit reading nook, impromptu dance parties with Alex in the kitchen cutting fresh flowers from the garden to brighten her writing desk. Laughter comes easily and she sleeps soundly, no longer straining under the burden of maintaining some flawless facade. Emma embraces each moment, without filtering experiences through the imagined gazes of others. She has shed the need for validation measured in comments and clicks. Within herself, Emma finally feels enough. On a golden evening, Emma sits curled up on her porch bench, gazing at the sunset painting the sky in radiant hues. She smiles softly, reflecting on the last rays of light illuminating all she has overcome. Emma thinks back to the little girl who dreamed of fame, believing the world's applause could make her feel whole. That child just wanted to shine bright enough to distract from the darkness gnawing inside. But in the glare of artificial light, Emma lost sight of an unchanging truth. What humans require to thrive lies not in acclaim, but in being truly seen. And though it took years of dismantling facades, 
she sees now that only one person fulfilled that role all along. Through silence and patience, he nurtured her spirit as fierce storms raged, and when she found herself lost, he became her lighthouse back home. As the last golden rays fade into twilight, Emma whispers aloud a realization, simple but profound. In a world of likes and shares, the best connection was the one that was always there. At last, Emma understands where genuine worth resides, not in the fickle validation of strangers, but in the steadfast love of those souls who know and cherish your authentic self. For they reflect the unwavering light within you. And in the quiet contentment of this moment, Emma feels finally complete, 